Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Operations Research. So today we're going to talk about a new thing called quantitative analysis and the dual simplex method. Okay, let's start. So uh, we're going to split the lecture into two parts. In the first part, we will talk about evaluating a new variable. Well, certainly we will tell you what's that. It's going to be you have a linear program, you somehow you know how to solve it, and you see there is a new variable added into your program. We're going to see uh, what's the impact and uh, what should we do. And then in the second part, we will talk about, well, we have variables, then we may also have new constraints. So if we have a new constraint, what's going to happen and uh, what should we do? So if you are looking, listening to this lecture, you certainly have one question is about, well, why do we want to see this? So let's see some examples. So here comes our motivating example, which is um, very specific and very typical. Here's a company selling two kinds of products. You have product one and you have product two. Making one unit of product one is going to take you one unit of resource one and one unit of resource two. Producing one unit of product two requires one unit of resource one and two units of resource two. So anyway, there are some resources, there are some products, and there are some resource allocation problems. We're going to make product one and product two because they can be sold at two dollars and three dollars per each uh, for each uh, respectively. And you have a limited amount of resources, four units and six units for resources one and two respectively. We want to find the optimal production plan that can maximize our total sales revenue. Well, you don't need and you, you don't need five minutes, you just need one minute or two minutes, you can formulate a program like this. This is a linear program with x1 and x2 non-negative as your production quantity for product one and product two. If you produce this amount, you earn two x1 and the, the plus three x2 as your sales revenue, something you want to maximize. You have two constraints, resource one, you only have four units, x2, uh, resource two, you only have six units, so you have these resource limitations. So this is your resource allocation linear program, which is maybe one of the most easiest or most basic formulation for linear programming. Okay, we all know how to deal with that. This is a very simple or very typical problem. So if we want to solve it, either you draw a graph, well, this guy, that guy, you're going to get 2-2 as your optimal solution, or alternatively, we're going to use the simplex method to solve it. You may want to ask, well, there are only two variables. What's the point of using the uh, simplex method? You may just draw a graph. But later we will tell you, we will show you why doing a simplex method is useful. So anyway, we prepare the initial tableau, 2 and 3 becomes negative 2 and negative 3, and then all other numbers should be copied. We do pivoting. Suppose we do the smallest index rule, we try to enter x1. We're going to do the ratio test. Well, 4 is smaller than 6, so we do one pivoting, uh, or we should say one iteration. And then we get another uh, negative reduced cost. Here we have our entering column and uh, to do ratio test again. Our x2 should be our entering variable. So we do it again, and then we get to our final tableau. Basically, if we want to visualize that, our initial point is here. We go one iteration we to increase x1, the other iteration to increase x2, and then we stop at the optimal solution, 2, 2. So plugging back 2, 2 into our objective function, we get 10. Oh, this is basically our objective, uh, our optimal solution. We should produce two units of product one, two units of product two, and eventually earn $10. Everything looks fine. 